Hello everyone, I am Sir Kenneth and welcome sa ating Pre-Calculus Lecture Series. Para sa video na to, ang pag-uusapan natin ay yung distance between two points. We will be starting with our horizontal line segment. If the two points lie on a line that is parallel to our x-axis, then our horizontal distance d, yung pag-itan between point 1 going to point 2, is just equal to the absolute value ng x-coordinate ng ating second point, Minus the x-coordinate of our first point. We can only apply the formula in this case na pareho yung y-coordinate nung point 1 at point 2 natin. Kasi yung line segment na mabubuo ni point 1 at point 2 ay parallel dito sa ating x-axis. Now let us have an example. We have to solve for the distance between 1, 3 and 5, 3. Plot muna natin yung ating points. 1, 3 is here. X coordinate is 1, Y coordinate is 3. Then our 5, 3 is here. Connect lang natin yung dalawang points. Then this is our P1. And then eto yung P2 natin. P1 is 1, 3. P2 is 5, 3. Ang formula natin, the distance D is equal to the absolute value of X sub 2 minus X sub 1. Sa given natin, ang X coordinate ng ating point 2 is 5. Ang x-coordinate ng ating point 1 is 1. Substituting that in our formula, this is equal to x sub 2 is 5 minus x sub 1 is 1. Then this is equal to 5 minus 1 is 4. Ang distance between our two points is equal to the absolute value of 4 is 4. And we have 4 units. This is 4 horizontal line segment. Let us proceed with our second one which is vertical line segment. Dito naman, if our two points lie on a line that is parallel to our y-axis, so parallel naman siya dito, then our distance d between our two points is just equal to the absolute value of yung y-coordinate naman ng ating point 2 minus yung y-coordinate ng ating point 1. Sa vertical line segment, ang pareho naman ay yung value ng x. Dahil pareho sila, yung line segment between point 1 and point 2, is now parallel to our y-axis. I-apply na natin siya sa ating example. We have to solve for the distance between 2, 5 and 2, negative 2. Kung kapansin natin, paraho yung x-coordinates ng ating point 1 at point 2. Plating our points, we have our 2, 5, andito siya. Next is 2, negative 2, andito naman siya sa baba. Connecting our two points, eto yung ating P1, eto naman yung ating P2. P1 is 2, 5, P2 is 2, negative 2. Kailangan natin kunin yung distance na D. Using our formula, D is equal to the absolute value of Y sub 2 minus Y sub 1. Ang Y sub 2 natin is negative 2. Ang Y sub 1 naman natin ay 5. So this is equal to the absolute value of negative 2 minus 5. Negative 2 minus 5, this is equal to negative 7. At yung absolute value ng ating negative 7 is positive 7, kaya ang distance is 7 units. This is our distance between 2, 5 and 2, negative 2. Again, magagamit lang natin yung formula for vertical line segment kapag pareho yung x-coordinates nung dalawang point natin. Pero sir, paano kung hindi na pareho yung x-coordinates at yung y-coordinates nung ating dalawang points? Now, we have to use our distance formula. Ang distance formula, the distance between our two points is equal to the square root of yung x-coordinate ng ating second point minus yung x-coordinate ng ating first point and then kunin natin yung square nila. Plus, yung y-coordinate ng ating second point minus yung y-coordinate ng ating first point and then kunin din natin yung square. Plot muna natin sila. We have our 1, negative 2. So 1 and then negative 2. Andito tayo sa point na to. This is our point 1. At sa point 2 naman, we have our 5, 1. So, around this point. This is our point 2. Then, drawing the line segment between our two points, ang kailangan natin kunin ay yung distance D between dun sa ating dalawang points. Now, we apply na natin ang ating distance formula. The distance D between our two points is just equal to the square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus we have our y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. 1 negative 2 ang ating point 1, 5 1 ang ating point 2. 
Kaya si 1 yung x-coordinate ng ating point 1 at si negative 2 yung y-coordinate ng ating point 1. Then, para sa point 2, si 5 yung x-coordinate ng ating point 2 at si 1 yung y-coordinate ng ating point 2. I-substitute na lang natin yung mga values na yun dito sa ating formula. This is equal to the square root of, ang x sub 2 natin ay 5, ang x sub 1 naman natin ay 1. So, this is equal to 5 minus 1 and then squared. Plus, yung y sub 2 naman natin ay 1, ang y sub 1 natin is negative 2. Kaya this is 1 minus yung negative 2 na y sub 1 and then squared. Perform na lang natin yung operation. This is equal to the square root of 5 minus 1 is just 4 and then squared. Plus, subtraction of integers, pwede natin baguhin itong subtraction to addition and then kunin natin yung opposite sign nung nasa loob. So, negative 2 will become positive 2. Kaya this will become 1 plus positive 2. Ang sagot ay positive 3 and then squared. Tuloy lang tayo, this is equal to the square root of 4 squared is 16 plus 3 squared is 9. So, this is equal to the square root of 16 plus 9 is 25. Our distance d, it is equal to the square root of 25 which is 5 units. Kaya yung distance between our point 1 and point 2 which is 1 negative 2 and 5 1 is just equal to 5 units. And that is how we apply distance formula para makuha yung distance between two points. Music